My primary research question was investigating which format was optimal for supporting health risk probability comprehension. And specifically, I was looking at um, or comparing frequencies. For example, one in five people will experience a side effect to percents such as 20% of people will experience a side effect to words. It is quite unlikely that people will experience a side effect. Additionally, we were interested in understanding if um, the same format was ideal or optimal for both younger and older adults. Participants read um, health passages that included these health risk probabilities that were presented either as frequency, percent, or words. And then we, after we read and discussed the passages, they answered um, multiple choice comprehension questions immediately after reading the passage. And it was accuracy or number correct on those questions that I used to measure comprehension. So we found actually that format does matter and in fact percent and frequency lead to uh, highest comprehension. Um, if you present health risk probabilities in words it led to the lowest comprehension for both younger and older adults. So there are multiple ways that we can follow up with this research. One um, potential path for follow-up research would be working with healthcare providers and understanding how they communicate health risk probability information to their patients. Um, are they using frequency and percents? Because that our research suggests that would lead to um, highest comprehension. And so by assessing how healthcare providers communicate with patients, we can um, use our research and uh, improve healthcare communication with patients.